Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. We're going to paint our snowman from series number um, number five. The colors that we need for this is a, a light blue, like a white and blue mixed together, and that's from this tube, into a wash, because we're going to be able to see the wood yet through this. It's not going to be completely, I don't know if you can see that, a little bit of grain here and there. Um, it's not going to be completely um, dark blue um, that you can't see anything. The white will remain white and then we'll do the black portions and uh, the white little dots all over the place and the mittens and the dark blue. So let's get started here. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do the white first. I always like to do the eyes first because the eyes are going to be a lot like our Santa eyes. They're going to take a little bit of white. Let me get this up here so you can see it. Start from the middle again. Work our way out. Okay. And we're going to just take our time doing our eyes. We'll see how far we can get on this video here. There's not a whole lot of painting. It just takes a little bit of time. And then we're going to do the other eye. Do the underside there, if I can see it. Let me move this over a little bit. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's how we get our eyes in, and that's really it for the white. Okay, so I'm going to shake that out. I'm going to go to the blue next, which is a wash of that dark blue and that white mixed together. Let's see how dark this will be. I'm going to start on the back because I haven't used that blue for a while. Let's see how that is. Oh, that's good. What you want to do is work it up. You want to be careful not getting it on the head, okay? So you want to be very careful going around here. Work its way up. Alright, and just do that whole whole scarf all the way around. And so I'm going to let you do this offline. And do that scarf from there all the way around to the front. Just like that. Okay. And then when you get to the end of the scarf here, you want to turn it around and you want to take your flat brush and just work it towards the edge, okay? And anything you can't reach with this wide brush, what you do is you go back and you um, go ahead and use your small brush to get in any crevices that you're a little fearful of mixing in with something else. You know, that comes in real handy. Um, I only have a couple of brushes that I use all the time. Uh, you'll see the same me using the same brushes all the time. And that's okay. Uh, everybody has their favorite knife and favorite brushes. And um, I have a lot of po pocket knives and I have a lot of carving knives, but there's only two or three that I really work with anymore. And I flip around and when I resharpen them, then I have another new one. Now, if you get a little bit on there like I just did, you take your carving knife and just... You know, you just cut it out. Just sli slice it off. See? It gets blowing on the camera doesn't help. I have to blow it off on the um, on the carving. So you just want to go around. So remember, you cleaned everything up, which is good. And so you're just going to go all the way around and take care of that scarf. Just be very careful when you get to the top n near the head. Just want to work your way up there. You don't want to put a lot on your brush when you get up there. You may want to take a small brush and go back over that, that part. And I might do that when I get offline here so I can see it better. Okay, and after we get that done, we're going to do also the mittens need to be done. So we'll just do the underside of this mitten. Again, you it's okay if you get it up on the other. But see how that just soaked it up? Okay, you see that little blue line? That's what happens when you don't seal your wood. We don't do any kind of sealing on these these pieces. I just paint them and they tend to hold up really well. But just make sure you don't have a lot on your brush. Okay, so you're going to follow that all the way around very carefully. So I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to go ahead and finish doing uh, all of that. And then we'll be right back.